Good morning, Good morning Armio. Armio. Welcome to the AHS Media Broadcast. I'm your host, Cruz Aparicio. And I'm Julian Saturn. Today, we're going to talk about the upcoming fundraiser to fund Grad Night and Armio Leadership. This fundraiser will be at, at the Fairfield Community Center on February 25th. Social hour will start at 6 p.m. and dinner will be at 7 p.m. Admission will be $40 per person and children 8 and under will be $25 to get in. The event will have food like smoked tri-tip, Montreal chicken, mashed potatoes, and salads. There will also be music, a silent and dessert auction, and a 50-50 raffle. Also for the ground night, it will be taking place at K-1 Speedway. There will be go-karts, arcade games, bouncy houses, cash, and raffle prizes. Tickets will be on sale until June 1st, so get them now. We will have ticket pricing on screen. If you have any more questions, contact Lori Russell or Jean Mary Curtis. Their email will be provided on screen. Now here's an interview conducted by Cruz interviewing Ms. Montegato. All right, so today we are here with Mrs. Montegato, our very own librarian here at Armio. Today we're gonna be talking about her job and what she does <laughs> here as a librarian here at Armio. So Ms. Mon Mrs. Montegato, what is librarian here? Well, one of the reasons that I enjoy being a librarian is the wide variety of things that I do in a typical day. So we, we order books. I have many budgets for the library accounts that I have to rectify. Um, I so I love collection development. I love building a collection of books. I'm interested in what students are interested in reading and I'll order them. Uh, plus we have a very large space. We also accommodate the College and Career Center and the textbook room, and we have classes that come in, and I, I love teaching research. Mostly I'm working with IB, though I have been so, getting some other classes in this year, so I love teaching research as well. I think it's important, um, one of the things that I try to focus on is some of the things that were mentioned when I, before the pandemic, the li our library department in FSUSD had a meeting with the librarians at Solano Community College, and we discussed what sort of benchmarks students need to meet when they start college. So whether you start at a university or a community college, the, you're expected to know how to navigate a database, how to do a competent Google search, and how to create a works cited page and how to cite your sources. Uh, so those are all things that I find really, really interesting. <laughs> all right, next question. What made you want to become a librarian? I think that I've always been a reader. I, I literally crave the idea of reading books. So when I was a little girl, my grandmother and my dad were always readers. And so when my sisters and I would walk down the block to my grandma's house, my sisters loved to go up in the attic and play dress up with all the clothes up there. But I instead would go sit by grandma's bookshelf and I would just read all day and I loved it. And that continued all throughout you know, middle school, high school, and college. And I've always read to my daughters. I have two lovely daughters. And that was an integral part of sleep time was after I would give them a bath, we would lay in bed and we would read. And I always brought my daughters to, you know, mom, we always do the mom and child story time at the library. And so I think it's so important to read because reading gives your mind the ability to focus. So same way that meditation does. It gives you the ability to kind of calm your mind and focus, but it improves your vocabulary. If you don't read and especially push yourself to challenge typically what you read, you there's thousands and thousands and thousands of words that you'll never know. And you don't realize the deficit in your vocabulary until you get older and you as you as you navigate yourself through your career and, and jobs, you realize that when it comes time to write letters or to discuss your thoughts and ideas with peers and bosses and management, you, you realize that you need a full vocabulary. You need a good handle of the English language in, in order to express yourself. And you don't get that unless you read. And also, I don't think most students really learn grammar anymore in school, and so reading is another way to understand the way our language is structured and the way that it works. All right, last question. So in, in your opinion, why do you think being a librarian is important? Because I think literacy is important. I think that if libraries eventually go away, 
who will be there to support reading and literacy? I get very concerned that um, we have a lot of upperclassmen that want to go to college, but they don't necessarily want to read. Miss M gets very offended when you come into the library and you're sitting around on your phone rather than looking for a book to check out. I do really put a lot of thought into creating a collection that is expressive of the diversity of our school campus. So I really focus on that. And actually, one of Miss Walling CC's students made me aware a couple weeks ago that we didn't have much on the country of Tonga. And so I've been focusing my recent book order on um, a collection that is supports Asian and Pacific Islanders. So I, I really feel that if you don't browse the collection here, you really miss out because we really do have a lot of good things to read. <laughs> All right, so that's all the time we have. Thank you, Ms. Mondegato. Thank you, Cruz. <laughs> all, right. all right, so back to the, so back to the studio, Julian Sater. All right, thank you, Cruz. Unfortunately, that's all we have for you, Royals. Yep, sadly, that's all we have for now, but be sure to, tu be sure to tune in to the other broadcasts we have coming this week on the AHS Media YouTube channel. That's, that's all, all caps, caps, no space. space.